today on Be Something Wonderful. Watch, you'll never chase love, money, success, and friends ever again. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, good morning, and welcome back to the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video for you today. This is a guy who said, I'm exhausted. I'm sick of myself. I'm sick of reality. I'm sick of reality creation coaches and videos. <laughs> this is how he started. He goes, you know, Tom, I was one of those guys. I was critical. I was, I was commenting, making comments that weren't nice, right? <laughs> and he said another word, but I, I'm going to say not, not nice. And uh, he goes, it's because I was just exhausted. He goes, but then I decided I watched your, your I discovered your levels of creation playlist. And he goes, it changed everything. No wonder I was exhausted. I was working at those low levels, trying to change things. Chasing reality when you are reality, that's exhausting. My God, he says, this is fun. Even when it appears like it isn't. He's not measuring it by what's going on out there. He's having fun with reality. What changed? He did. So let's talk about this. This is powerful today. It's this whole idea that I am manifesting something. I'm chasing, I'm seeking, I'm wanting, I'm waiting, I'm healing things, right? Remember, I am the law, I am the Lord, I am source. That's the declaration, that's the assumption. That's where you wanna stop. Start, 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 stop. That's where you want to be, the beginning and the end, the first and last, the Alpha Omega. Start there at the top, top down. I am the law of Moses, as Jesus famously declared in The Chosen, in that show that I've talked about. Right? I am reality and there is no other. Right? You, you are who you desire to be and have what you want to have here and now or not at all. Right? Stop using the present moment as a placeholder while well, you try to heal your past, fix your life in the present, and wait for your new life in the future. This is powerful. It's a choice and decision to be fulfilled here and now or not at all. To be healed or whole here and now or not at all. Do you see this? We're using the present moment, which is the now moment, which is that eternal now moment as a placeholder to fix our past life that we believe in and, and change our present that we're not unhappy with and wait to hope for that change in the future, that, that new life in the future. You're, you're chasing, you're seeking, you're wanting, you're waiting, you're healing, you're exhausted. I am the law, I am the Lord. Start there, that's the top. That's level seven as we're gonna talk about today. The whole idea of manifesting and reality creation is based on the ancient idea, right? As, as the ancients told us, believe or be aware you already are and already have who and what you want to be and have, and you shall be it and have it. Every spiritual coach, every spiritual guru, every spiritual teacher, all the ancients said the same thing, right? Believe, or in other words, be aware of. That's what belief means. You are awareness of being. You are that I am awareness of being. You are that I am of scripture. Be aware, in other words, that you already are and already have who and what you want to be and have, and you shall be it and have it. There are absolutely no conditions whatsoever. This is clear. Remember, you are the one and only person, entity, being, who can deny or deprive yourself of what you desire, period, right? Your soul, your higher self, God, the universe, have, they don't have any other plan for you than absolute unconditional love and fulfillment here and now. There always a question comes up, well, maybe it's my higher self that wants me to have this experience, or my soul, or God, or the universe. No, it's you. <laughs> it's about you, you decide. Right? You decide. There's no other plan that God has, your higher self or your soul, than absolute fulfillment right here and right now. Wow, that's powerful. God's will is that you have and are everything and guaranteed this by creating you everything. Right? This comes from A Course in Miracles. 
right? Life, existence, the isness, that pure knowing, God, the absolute, pure awareness, the great I am, source, the all. That's level seven. Created you and guaranteed that you are everything and have everything. That's the absolute top level. That's it. That's the big guy, right? It doesn't get bigger than that. It doesn't get bigger than the absolute isness of reality, the great I am, the one and only source, the all, right? All power, all, all potential, all knowing, pure awareness, right? Then there's the first manifestation. You are that. You are God's son. You are all that is. You're, you are that isness or that absolute now in potential. Potential to be or have anything that you desire. You are now the beingness, that infinite power, infinite knowing. That all power, that all knowing becomes infinite power in your hands, infinite knowing. That I am awareness, consciousness, self-aware intelligence, Jesus Christ of scripture. You are he. <laughs> you are that, you are one with that awareness. Every point of consciousness is one with that. That's level six. Then there's level five, your I am identity. You as the son of God, the son of man identifying himself. What are you identifying yourself as the son of man? The identity, the perfect ideal of God, that self-concept, that superimposed sum of all versions and identities of you, knowing yourself, as the Son of God, through a specific viewpoint, vantage point, and perspective. That's you on level five. That's the Son of Man. You're the Son of God knowing itself through this self-concept. And remember, you're all identities. You are all that is. All identities, all images, all realities, all potentials. One superimposed over another, and throughout which you, look, you have a certain viewpoint. You're seeing out from as the son of man, you have a specific viewpoint or point of consciousness. And they're all superimposed, but you don't lose any one of those identities. You can only become more aware of all of your identities, more aware of your infinite beingness. Never less aware. You never drop by an identity. You never lose one. There's no fear of that. They're all you, but you become more aware. And as you become more aware, that's how infinity expands. Because you see infinity or that creation, that one moment in time, that one creation from a different vantage point, a different viewpoint, a different perspective. That's powerful today. We'll get back to this. Top-down reality creation. This is where we want to, this is why it's exhausting because we're not working from these levels, right? Let, let, this is the level five that you work from knowing that you are one with level six and seven. That's who you are, that's your heritage, right? But you get to decide here. It's exhausting. Top-down reality creation based on your simultaneity or simultaneous infinite multidimensional nature, your name, I am, right? Jesus, your I am awareness, the son of God and the son of man, right? Who do men say that I, the son of man, am? In Matthew 16, 13, Jesus asked that. Jesus, as your I am awareness, you, as the Son of God and the Son of Man, right? Christ, the Son of God, Jesus, the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, that being, you, that, that, I, that great I am, God, is this outer line. The I am awareness of being, the Son of God, right? That I am identity, the Son of Man, that concept, and then the blue Solid figure is the I am physical personality and focus. You're all of these looking out through a certain viewpoint or vantage point that's always changing. It feels solid, but it's always changing as the son of man, as that self-concept. But, but when you're looking, when you're working from the lower levels of levels one through four, it's exhausting. And we're going to talk about that today because the disciples... The apostles answer Jesus. Jesus asks, who do, who do men say that I, the son of man, am? And the apostles answer, well, some say John the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. They're all over the place. It's levels one through four. Maybe I'm, my, uh, maybe I'm these assumptions in my, self, in my subconscious, these invisible assumptions from my childhood or from my upbringing that I can't get over. Maybe I'm my changing thoughts and feelings. 
Maybe, maybe I'm my, I'm, I'm my changing emotions, my changing assumptions, my, but the, maybe I'm the effects of physical reality. All of that, do you see, they go off on a tangent. But remember who you are, the Son of God, one with that, all the, the allness of God, the Son of Man having an experience, looking out to a certain viewpoint or vantage point. There you are. This is very clear today, right? So, levels four, three, two, and one. That's why. That's why when you watch that playlist and discover this is where you get exhausted. What's level four? After identity, after the Son of Man, where you get to determine who you are, how you define yourself, your self-concept. You have core assumptions and beliefs about yourself and reality, right? You, you, you have a truth. Your truth, not the truth, not the truth that may, makes you free, but your truth, what you believe about yourself and reality. Your limited and linear view of the world in yourself, what you accept as true. Some of those, yes, seem, seem very, that you're really not aware of them or, or not, not uh, very aware of them. None of them are invisible or hidden. They're just, we, we, accept, we have believed them so much. We have assumed them so much that we believe them to be truth or true of reality when they're just assumptions and beliefs about reality, like linear time and being limited and, and, and limited by the physical reality, right? They, it's, they seem permanent, but they become our expectations, right? So we're, we're working from the, this level is, a, is better than three, two, and one, better to work from this level, right? Because this, this can help you. Again, remember, you can create on any level. All levels are creative. Not all levels create, but they're all creative. There's all possibilities there, right? And you can define your identity, and this is what we mostly do, is define our identity by our core assumptions, by our beliefs, by who we believe we are based on our life experience, this physical life, right? Remember, you're living all lives, <laughs> right? You're, you're, you're more than what you think you are, right? And so we define it from there. And then you have level three, the changing thoughts and beliefs and assumptions. Right? These don't really change. These are sort of, they seem permanent. They can change and they ought to, but they seem permanent and they seem invisible and hidden. They, see, and you, they seem less aware. They seem like the truth, but they're your truth and they're limited and they're linear. Then you have the changing thoughts and beliefs and assumptions. Though these you're more aware of. These are the ones that drive you crazy, right? That you call triggers, but they're just thoughts. They're more limited and linear. None of them our reality, none of, all of it, none of them are creating from those highest levels. None of them are your true identity. And then you have level two, the changing feelings and emotions based on, what, based on what's going on in levels three, four, five, six, and seven, right? Changing thoughts, feelings, emotions, you're only ever feeling those other levels. Three, four, and five, your identity, your, your core assumptions of beliefs about who you are. And so, and then you have your physical manifested effects of, uh, of levels two through seven, the physical manifested experience. And so we're here trying to bump, trying to bang our way up through these levels. It's exhausting and nothing seems to stick and people seem hot and cold and right and wrong and good and bad. And people are imposing things on us. The world is imposing on us here. Do you see it? Because you're, you're, you're fighting against your own self, right? You're denying your own identity as that allness, right? Of God, as that one beingness. Wow. It's here you want to be knowing that you're one with this, that this is your true nature. This is powerful. Do you see these levels, guys? Go to that playlist if you want more on this. Trying to change or shift realities and identities from levels one through four is exhausting. It's temporary, it's hot and cold, it's frustrating, and it's unnatural. It's not your nature. We wanna feel better feeling thoughts. We wanna work our way up the emotional guidance scale. We wanna fight our way to think positive thoughts, to do things positively, take positive actions here in physical, thinking that's gonna do it. All of that, nothing wrong with any of that, but let it all come from the top down, right? Seven, six, and five, those, those levels, right? It's, 
trying to feel it real, trying to feel better, trying to think positive, trying to work your way up the scale of conscious emotions. No wonder it's exhausting. That's why Jesus, your I am awareness, asks again. Right? He asks them. They go off on a tangent talking about levels one through four, essentially. John the Baptist, right? Both, both those living and those dead, physical and non-physical things, right? The physical reality and the non-physical thoughts and feelings. But, but your I am awareness asks again, but who do you say that I am? Jesus presses his disciples here. Forget about that. It's about you. What about level five? Your concept, your self-concept. Who are you? Not the world. Not your fixed assumptions. Right? Not your subconscious past. Not, your, not linear time. Not your changing thoughts and assumptions and beliefs. Not your fleeting feelings and emotions. Not the physical manifested people, events, and circumstances from levels one, two, three, and four. But who do you say you are from that self-concept? That's what changed for this kid. Right? This, this, this creator. Here we are, right? Remember, and I get it, the horizontal experience, that is the experience of levels one, two, three, and four. Right? It feels solid. Right? It's just an experience. It's not reality. Ultimate reality is this, five, six, and seven, who you are as the son of man and the son of God. Right? And that's in the now moment. The present's not a placeholder. It's now. Creating and trying to manifest from levels one through four, you see the present as that placeholder to heal your past, to fix your life in the present, to manifest a better life in the future. In the meantime, you're creating those ideas of waiting for a better future, of a past that never heals and finding more things to heal, of a present that never changes. So you feel stuck and exhausted and sick of yourself, sick of others, sick of the coaches. Sick of me laughing. <laughs> I get it, right? But guys, whenever you have that, that I'm sick of this or sick of them, that's coming from you being disconnected from your source. How could it be any other way, right? To, you're waiting to manifest a better life as you wait for 3D reality to catch up with you. Nothing catches up with you. It's you. You're already there. You're already in the vertical. Watch this and you'll never chase money, love, money, success, or friends ever again. We talked about all of these in, his, in, this, in this discussion that I have with this creator about love, money, success, and friends. And he's not going to chase any of them anymore. They're chasing him. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting, and commenting on the videos. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. For joining us on Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our TikTok at Be Something Wonderful, and our membership channel. We had a powerful live stream yesterday and we released a powerful uh, SP or specific person manifesting video on the channel yesterday. So two big videos yesterday on the membership channel. If you're a member, thank you. Thank you for joining us for the session. Thank you for being a member. And if, you, if you're not a member, just check out the link below if you're interested. Creators with great love, with great light and infinite gratitude. This is Tom Kieran here in the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Until next time, we'll see you soon.